Channel 7 presents live from downtown Detroit, the 2023 Red Carpet Charity Preview. Detroit is dazzling cars and fashion taking center stage tonight and we have it all. We're talking about the sights, the sounds and lots of sequence. The automotive industry is showing off their EVs, their horsepower and even a flying car all in an effort to fundraise for six Detroit nonprofits. Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Channel 7 is proud to be the official broadcast partner of the charity preview. And I'm Mike Duffy. Now this is really an evening to give back to our community. And we have crews around the auto show tonight who are going to show you the coolest concepts, the technology powering the cars of tomorrow, and of course, what's trending on the fashion front. So let's start on the red carpet with Keenan and Alicia. Hey guys. Hey guys, uh, it is an, an incredible night out here. Of course, the Auto Show Charity Preview is the night we met to Detroit, turns out in its best, and this Woo! is no different. Look, Look at all these beautiful people. The ladies gorgeous in their gowns, the guys mm. dapper in those tuxedos. And look at you, midnight blue tux with the gold well, velvet tie, by the and, way. And emerald, my goodness. Thank you. I have Stunning. to thank Zane Boutique for, for doing this. I'm going to try a twirl real fast. Uh, she didn't try a twirl. Oh, she twirled. She twirled, didn't <laughs> you, she? You know who's shining? Glenda Lewis. Oh, you brought it, Glenda. <laughs> oh, right back at you, my sister friend, Alicia and Keenan. And good evening to all of you. Fashion, the future on the roads, and the future for children in our community. That is what this evening is all about. It is filling up with some beautiful people with passion for our children, all supporting tonight's charity preview, kicking off the auto show. I see you over there in Stellantis, my partner, Brian. <laughs> Hey, G. Yeah, things are just getting going here, and already people are getting a bane for their buck. Take a look at the truck territory here in Stellantis. We have so much to show you throughout the night. The EV Ram is one of them. We're going to have a great time. We're going to bring it to you all, Mike and Carolyn. We are going to bring it tonight. Thank you, Brian. Hundreds of journalists from around the world. We're in town all this week to see the new car reveals, and they were not disappointed. We're talking 35 vehicle brands and even a flying car. We're talking Jetson style. That's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. So we have a look at what you can do at the North American International Auto Show. The excitement started Tuesday night when Ford hosted F-150 Fast. Ford unveiled the new 2024 F-150. The trucks can tow more than 13,000 pounds, has an adaptive tailgate, and the technology to act as a mobile power generator. Wednesday, Jeep thrilled journalists with the new 2024 Gladiator. Off-road trail maps are available on the mid-sized truck. The Gladiator Glow-Up includes a new grill and interior dash design. Cadillac showed off the 2025 CT5. The luxury sports sedan has a redesigned front end, a driver-centric cockpit, and next-gen connectivity. GMC drove out its 2024 Acadia in two trim levels. You can feel the luxury inside and out of this mid-size SUV. It's added many more new elements, including spacious third-row seating and hands-free driving technology. Ford showed off its supercar, the 2025 Mustang GTD. It's the fastest Mustang ever with more than 800 horsepower. Aleph Aeronautics teased its Model A flying concept, which can drive on the street, take off vertically, and fly. Tonight, we'll also share with you so many other experiences like the powering Michigan EV track, where you can test out an electric vehicle. Or climb up the hill at Ford's Adventure Mountain. Or go off-road at the Camp Jeep and Ram territory. You won't want to miss the 2023 North American International Auto Show. 
A lot of good stuff, huh, Mike? So many things to see. Now, of course, we want to acknowledge that the UAW and the Detroit Three did not reach an agreement by last night's deadline. Yeah, we all know that you know that at home. United Auto Workers are on strike, of course. As we talk to people in the automotive industry tonight, they are not likely wanting to comment on the ongoing negotiations. But still, tonight is an evening to raise millions for charities across southeastern Michigan. So let's check back in with Alicia and Keenan on the red carpet as they talk to one of tonight's beneficiaries. Hi, guys. We are so thrilled to have Luann Thomas Ewald with us, the COO of CS Mott Children's Hospital, one of six charities benefiting from all of the generosity of the people here tonight. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me. We're so excited to be here. Yeah. And Luann, you know, what do, how does uh, CS Mott use the money collected from events like this to actually provide great care for kids? So we, we use the funds really to help our children and our family while they're hospitalized. And we really try to keep their minds and their spirits off of why they're there. So we use it for things like we have a teddy bear fund. So we want to make sure every child that comes in the hospital has a friend, has a comfort friend. Um, we use it for books. We use it for games. We use it for child life specialists who really sit at the bedside with our children and um, they, use, they teach them distraction. So if they're going through pain, they help them breathing. We have um, yoga experts, right? So we use it to really help the children remember that they're children and, and try to have at least some comfort while they're in the hospital. That's so important. It really it's is. It's so important. And, we're, and the team we have doing it, it's just amazing. Very impactful. Now I have to, I have to brag because y'all just won an honor. We did another honor. We were named the number one children's hospital in the state of Michigan for the 17th year in a row. All right. We're so, so proud, so proud of the doctors, nurses, our whole, all of our care teams who just come to work every day with their hearts and their heads and we're just so proud. Incredible. Thank you so much for everything CS Mott Children's does in our community. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, and clearly just a great way to uh, come out here and support organizations like this. Carolyn and Mike. And you know that's really what it's all about. Thank you so much, Keenan and Alicia. It is all about that. Well, Ford, of course, showed off its most extreme Mustang this week. That's the GTD. And joining us now is Greg Goodall, Mustang GTD Chief Program Engineer. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having us. This is an awesome night. <laughs> Isn't it an awesome night? Everything looks so beautiful. So we got to talk about this performance car. This racing car is so sweet, so fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, got to be happy about that. We're so proud. Uh, everything about this uh, car is next level. It truly is a race car for the streets. We took all the technology from the Mustang GT3 race car that's going to Le Mans next year. We kept the good stuff like the transaxle and the, the dry sump. And then we added things onto it that's illegal in racing, like an active aero, a supercharger, targeting over 800 horsepower. Um, just all about performance, all about blistering track times and being absolutely as awesome as it could possibly be. One sweet ride, right? And of course, we want to talk more about that te technology in this supercar. What are the aerodynamics be behind the GTD? So we have an available active aero system, and that basically means that we have a wing on the back of the vehicle that when you're going in the turns, will give you maximum downforce. And then when you get into the straightaway, it'll automatically open up to reduce drag so you can just take off past your competitors. It's right. absolutely awesome, and it all happens automatically. It's, we've got some very trick controls in there that just make it seamless to give the operator, the, the driver, the best possible driving experience. Well, Greg, we know the GTT is at the top of the food chain. We so appreciate you joining us tonight. So much for you to be proud of. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Thank you. All right, coming up, the colors, the styles, the accessories. Next, we head back to the red carpet to see what's trending in fashion tonight. Thank you. Greg, that was great. DMV like the One, two, three, four, pick and choose. You got angles, you got angles, you so bad. Oh my, what a great night for the automotive industry. Welcome back to Channel 7's Red Carpet Charity Preview. There is a signature drink for tonight's charity preview. It is called Tito's Cranberry Fizz. Woo! All right, and as we toast to the auto show, let's check out the fashion with Alicia and Keenan. Hey guys. Good stuff, wow. And you know something is about the fashions and cheers to you. That's right. Because uh, you guys are looking fantastic as well quite fashionable that you are is. bringing it clinks 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 
I am so excited because Marianne Caros is back, everybody, our fashion expert for another year of sharing the trends. What's hot this year, Marianne? Oh, well, as you can see, the color red. That is, yes. first and foremost, the strongest trend that we've been seeing on the runways for fall. And going through the auto show uh, this evening, we're seeing men wearing it as well. So Without when you see it go cross gender, you know that it's a very strong trend. Without a doubt. And we have some uh, ex wonderful examples right here. So why don't you walk we us through do. what we're seeing? Absolutely. We have Marilyn right here. She's wearing a beautiful red tube like sheath dress, but then she has a great fuchsia ball skirt that's attached to it. And fuchsia is always in those shades of red as well. Then we have Derek. He's wearing a real snappy white tuxedo jacket. Yes. I'm seeing white tuxedo jackets on men, which I love something new besides just a basic tuxedo. And I love that buckle there. Yeah. Yes. Double breasted with yeah. the buckle. Double breasted, a nice fashion detail, but then notice his red uh, scarf right in the, the pocket square. And then we have Jackie. She's wearing a gorgeous one shoulder, very fitted. See my friend. Woo! Just beautiful. <laughs> and, Stunning. And her statement rhinestone earrings. Whenever you do a one shoulder, oh, yeah. it's always nice against the skin to show a, an Set accessory. Some balance. Yes, yes. Without it balances and it gives it a little shimmer. No doubt. And then we have George. Again, we have the a red velvet tuxedo jacket. Really looks wonderful. And then Carrie is wearing a one shoulder with a lot of ruffle that we have uh, on her shoulder as well. Seriously, you all look amazing. Everyone Without a looks doubt. so great. Yes, what a Thank handsome you for crowd out here. Out. Oh. And Carolyn, you and Mike are on trend as well. Always. <laughs> yes. Alicia and Keenan, of course, Carolyn's going to be on trend. Are you surprised about <laughs> Thank that? Thank goodness I picked red this year, right? <laughs> they had to point it out. Yes, indeed. You know, I always love the fashion. And people always bring it here at the auto show, and they kick it up a notch they every sure do. year. Yeah, and I'm seeing another trend tonight around the Detroit Auto Show. There are so many tracks to drive here. Oh, yeah. Take a look at Ford's Adventure Mountain. You can take a Bronco for a ride over the hill and crawl through several obstacles. You'll also learn about Bronco's goat mode, which means go over all terrain. And it's such a cool feature. By the way, you come down that hill at 38 degrees. You actually experience the thrill of off-roading, and you're doing it right here inside the auto show. I swear. I love that. You can touch it, you can feel it, and you can ride in it right here. Now, something else a lot of people love, the Ford F-Series. So sweet. It's another wildly popular vehicle. John Emmert with Ford joining us right now. Thank you so much for being here and well, talking hi, to Carolyn. us tonight. It's my pleasure to be here. <laughs> now, John, Tuesday was Ford Fest. What That's was right. it like to debut the new F-150? Oh, it was so much fun. We had a, we had a celebration right on Hart Plaza with about 4,000 people. Darius Ruck, Rucker joined us to introduce the all new or the new 24 model year F-150. And it was just a great, and most of the, most of the audience were employees. So it was a great time to celebrate with our employees, uh, celebrate the new F-150 with some country music and some good times. You know, I know it's such a popular vehicle, but what are you most excited about when you think about the 2024 F-150? Well, I love it. One of the things that I'm most excited about is our Pro Power Onboard feature. It basically turns the bed of the truck into a generator. You can get it in a 2.4 kilowatt hour version, or you can upgrade to a 7.2 kilowatt hour version. We've got great stories from customers all over the country telling us how they're using this feature. In fact, there's a mobile dentist office, uh, a mobile dental trailer uh, a customer in Maine uses to provide dental care to underserved communities. It's, oh, wow. it's absolutely, and, and, and they get to use that instead of loud generators that carry extra gas yeah. around. So it's a wonderful feature for our that customers. That is amazing. And I'm sure there's going to be so many more uses. Let's talk about that tailgate. What are the features that you love the most? So our pro access tailgate is ending the tailgate wars once and for all. <laughs> Um, it has a it has center mounted swing gate that allows you to open up the, the tailgate sort of like a, a regular door without having to bring the tailgate down. It allows you easy uh, easy access. You can get in, you can get out. And the best part about it is it doesn't interfere with your trailer. So when you common use for F-150 is or pickups, people tow trailers. And so when you have this this tailgate, you can easily get in and out of the bed and, and not have to worry about any interference. It's really an awesome feature. Wow, a lot to celebrate, a lot to be proud of. We so appreciate your time tonight and enjoy the show. Well, thank you so much.
All right, the Cadillac CT5 also making a big splash tonight. Up next, we're going to learn so much more about a special place in Detroit called the Children's Center, where they do amazing things for kids and their families. Don't go anywhere. Okay, check out the augmented reality experience in Chevy. With the help of an iPad, you can see what it's like behind the wheel and see the cool interior features of the Silverado EV, a full-size electric pickup. It has 400 miles of range and can tow 10,000 pounds. Pretty impressive. Now that is pretty impressive just to look at that on the iPad right there. Pretty cool, right? Well, this evening is all about helping uh, those right here in the city. And Glenda is with a special charity tonight. Glenda. Carolyn, Mike, millions of dollars have been raised through the charity preview to help our young people all across our community. And joining us right now is one shining and tangible example of how all of the dollars tonight will go to work to grow our future. We're growing the future of automobiles and we're growing the future of our children. CEO Nicole Wells Stallworth of the Children's Center, welcome. Thank you so much for having me this evening. I really appreciate it. You look fabulous. Fashion is it. Yeah. But it's going to help your children's charity, these yeah. dollars tonight. Yes. Children's Center is one of six charities that will be benefiting from the generosity of patrons who have supported tonight's event, which is major. Children's Center sits in the heart of Midtown Detroit. We've been around for about 94 years. We provide clinical, therapeutic, behavioral and mental health therapy to children in Detroit uh, from infant to 21 years old. And we're really excited to be able to be one of the beneficiaries of tonight's event because these dollars will go towards helping, like you said, to build our children's futures. And being a brand new CEO in July, we so appreciate having you on board. How will this help? Yeah, you know, I think it's really important to recognize that access to mental health therapy, access to social workers, access to adults who really understand how to implement evidence-based practices to help young people deal with the challenges that they face, whether they be emotional, whether they be have experienced some sort of trauma, whether they may be in the foster care system and need help and support. So these funds will help us be able to do that. It's critical and we appreciate everything that you do. Thank you so much for joining us, Nicole. Thank you All so right. much. Carolyn, Mike, back to you. Uh, thank you so much, Glenda, doing such good work in our community. We appreciate them. Now, Ford making headlines with this F-150 this week. Doug North of the Southeast uh, Michigan Ford dealers is joining us right now. Thank you so much for being with us, Thank sir. you very much for having me, and it's an exciting week. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. is. So the F-150 and Mustang GTD debuted this week. How excited are you about these vehicles? They're fantastic, and, and Ford did such a wonderful job with the evening event for the F-Series and Darius Rucker afterward. And then, of course, last night was the Mustang GTD, which is an all-new product from the ground up, a race car that anybody can drive on the streets. Really, really cool. Just amazing. So how are your Ford dealers preparing for all of the electric vehicles coming on board? Well, we've got a lot to do, and we've been doing a lot. You know, we've uh, been doing all the electrical work, chargers, all the infrastructure, and we're really planning not just for now, but for the next 30 or 40 years. So it's a, it's a big job, but we've got great electric product, uh, particularly that new Maki -E Rally you oh, might yeah. see over there, yeah. a really cool product. And so we're really excited about it. But you know, we're on the very beginning of that. We've got a lot to do yet. That Maki -E is people, amazing. A lot of people are so excited for the EV future. Doug, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having Enjoy me. Enjoy the show. Enjoy thank you it, very yeah. much. You too as well. And now let's head over to Keenan Smith on the red carpet. Hi, Keenan. Uh, hey, you know, the move to electrification shows no signs of slowing down. However, it can't be successful unless you can power that vehicle at home. Well, the uh, contractors at NECA and uh, IBEW uh, 58 uh, are ready to help you. They're the Powering Michigan team, and I'm joined now by Tom Middlebrun and Paul Van Oss. And uh, 
Tom, tell me a little bit about the EV um, experience that you guys have here. You have a learning center. Tell me a little bit about it. Our Powering Michigan Learning Center is a very wonderful display here at the Auto Show. And it's got our industry partners, it's got our contractors, it's got our IBW electricians. Everybody's there to help everybody understand what, what this all means and what they can do to make it work in their homes, their businesses, their factories, whatever it takes. And the auto show is a great place to have that learning take place. Now, uh, Paul, when folks are ready to make that move to electrification, tell me how you know IBEW 58 actually helps people make that move. Well, how we help them is we are the best qualified licensed electricians in, you know, I'm going to be biased, right? I'm going to say in the country. Absolutely. Between our training center, our great contractors, and the great 58 brothers and sisters that are EVITP trained, come to us. We're going to make sure you guys are all set up because the home is where it's going to start and we'll build from there. Absolutely, because we have to uh, keep it moving, right? We got to be able to power uh, these cars. And there is an EV track experience here. Very quickly, tell, tell us a little bit about that track experience. It's right behind our booth. You can probably hear the squealing tires from here, but you can drive a whole array of different vehicles. There's professional drivers, and they're going to give you a great experience. It's great to see the people's faces when they get out of those vehicles. And you can see those faces, no doubt, and it is both wonder and excitement, guys. Maybe even a little bit of electrification. Carolyn and Mike, back to you. Absolutely, Keenan. So much excitement with that electrification. We are always learning more about electric vehicles. I want to check out that uh, EV track myself. It makes a difference when you can experience <laughs> it, right? Yes. Well, still ahead, we head over to Ram territory to check out Ram's first electric truck. So much fun here at the auto show. No doubt, Brian is having a blast over there in Ram territory. Have you watched him all night? How about it, Brian? <laughs> Oh, guys, it is a lot of fun here in Stellantis. And take a look at what is behind me here. This is the brand new Ram 1500 Rev. Maybe the lights give you a little indication that this is electric, but I don't want to tell you about the outside, I want to tell you about the inside. So I'm bringing the head of interior design, Ryan Agote here. Ryan, why don't we step inside and you just actually tell us about what's inside, because guys, it's pretty incredible. So Brandon, photojournalist, follow Ryan there. We're going to jump on inside and take a peek. And uh, Ryan, one of the first things that I want to hear about is uh, this is a brand new trim level, huh? This is a brand new trim level. This is our new tungsten trim, so it's top of the line. What makes it top of the line? So it's really just all about the materials, the finishes, the attention to detail is bar none. Okay, so, and, I, and I'm seeing a lot of it, including a screen for the passenger side? Yes, yeah, so it's brand new for our Ram 1500 is a passenger side screen. Top of that, we got a big 14 and a half inch center display, 12 inch cluster. We have a Klipsch audio system, 24 speaker audio system. And then when you're sitting in here, you're lounging, relaxing, 24 way massage seats. Oh, come on. The 24 massage, 24 way to match the same amount of speakers. Yes. All right, you guys are doing too much. A lot of folks still uh, thinking about range. What range we have here? So we have 500 unsurpassed miles of range in this uh, Ram 1500 Rev battery electric vehicle. Yeah, okay, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Anything else that you need to sell me on here? Because <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> I, I hope you get inside and you, and you just realize, you know, the attention that we've placed into these vehicles. And you're going to see that through all of our Stellantis products. So we're, we're happy to be here at the show and, and give a chance for people to see it. All right, Ryan, really appreciate your time for Thank showing you. me around this beautiful truck. Alicia, what's going on at the red carpet? Oh my goodness, Brian, it is a who's who on the red carpet tonight. I am so honored to have the executive vice president of Tryon Solutions with me here, Jeff Caponegro, looking very really dapper nice tonight. To Always a pleasure to see you as well. And also one of Tryon's longtime clients, more than 15 years, we have the president of Ready Parts, which is an automotive supplier based in Auburn Hills, J J Jerry Neister. It is so great to see you as well. First of all, Obviously, Tryon does so much in the community philanthropically. What does it mean to Tryon Solutions to be involved in events like the Charity Preview? Well, we just love to be involved in the community as a whole. You know, and being here 
and seeing all of our clients, and no, no better client than Jerry Neister, but uh, we've seen many of our clients out here, and we get involved, and we have a long history with Channel 7, as you know, yes, and I've uh, always enjoyed that and appreciate all you do. A big supporter of our annual, if you give a child a book drive, and we are so sure. grateful. But again, very grateful that you're here tonight supporting all the children's charities. Now, Jerry, I, I just want to ask you, as an automotive supplier, what, does, what do you love most about the auto show? I love coming, seeing the new new cars, the new products, seeing all the people, the buzz. It's just so great to be here, and seeing the uh, you know the charity again blossoming. I've been coming here for the last 30 years, and really, this is a phenomenal show. I love now. It's in September. Much better than uh, the winter. Absolutely. It was fantastic. But you just said it, and, and it is a family event. I know your son is here, yeah. and I think it's so wonderful when you have friends, family, businesses coming together for a great cause. Carolyn and Mike. Absolutely, it is a family affair here at the Auto Show. And I gotta tell you, Mike, I am taking note of all the fashions we're seeing here tonight. I can see them behind Alicia, the reds, the oh. pinks, and the men in their tuxes looking so dapper tonight. Detroit, <laughs> well done. Okay, so our fashion expert has been walking the Auto Show floor looking for all the best looks. Well, she will see what she's found next. Welcome back to our charity preview special this week. Mobility and technology are front and center inside Automobili D. There are many brilliant people looking for mobility solutions. That's right. We have seen an all-electric camper van, self-driving vehicles, and innovations in drone technology. And some of these projects are incubated at Michigan colleges and universities. Thank goodness. It is incredible to see the innovation on display right here at the auto show. I'm amazed myself. Oh, it's amazing. The who's who are here tonight. So let's head back to the red carpet for a special guest. Alicia. I tell you what, Mike and Carolyn, the shining stars tonight are the charities that we're benefiting. All the people here are raising money for six wonderful charities in our community. And one of them, we have to shine a light on the Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Michigan. Sean Dorsey is the COO. Thank you so much for being with us. And I just met Lexi. And you are the youth of the year? Yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That is phenomenal. Tell me, tell me how you earned that. So with the Youth of the Year competition, it's an essay and an interview competition. Okay. So what we did was we had to write three essays about our club growth, our experience with the Boys and Girls Club, how we got there. And then the judges who actually judged the actual competition got to interview us, get to know us better, and you know, ask like why we wanted to be Youth of the Year, what, our, what we want our impact impact to be on the club and it was just an amazing experience I loved it so much how old are you I'm 14 I mean you have <laughs> everything figured out at the age of 14 Sean what does it mean for your organization to benefit from a charity night like this it means celebrating more young people like Lexi we get to do this work around economic mobility youth entrepreneurship workforce development so that we raise up more shining stars like Lexi and that's the most important part of it it really is and both of you brought it tonight in the fashion speaking of fashion Keenan you have more trends over there oh absolutely I mean folks are just really killing it here on the red carpet we're back with Mariana Caros and you know we have some more folks that are just really just blowing it away oh we have such spectacular trends First, we have the strapless trend, and we have Tiffany here in this show-stopping lilac dress. Just beautiful. And then we have the next trend, we have our elements of sheer fabrics. And we have Julia, she's wearing a beautiful blue gown, some sheer elements mm -hmm. there. And then Karen is showing sheer at the back of right. her dress, which really? is always dramatic. And then lastly, we have Peter here. I think it's James Bond. I think we have uh, Peter here with his white tuxedo jacket and speaking with him he also drives an Aston Martin oh my goodness so literally we have James Bond here but yes all of these folks here really exemplify what we're seeing not just here this evening but what's really capturing trends nationwide and worldwide absolutely because I did all the research on all of the fall 23 runway slides and all of these trends whether it was strapless whether it was sheer mm -hmm. whether it was we had the color red previously yep. which is going to be the strongest color this season uh -huh. so they are the strongest fashion trends for fall of this year and they are looking stunning indeed thank you guys so much
uh, for joining us. Uh, Carolyn and Mike, the folks here are just really knocking it out of the ballpark this evening once again. <laughs> I got to say, Tiffany's purple gown right there is my absolute favorite. I spotted her from a mile away. Love and, it, love and it. Peter, I could learn a few things from you. I just want you to know that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, here's something pretty cool. We found while we were roaming around the auto show floor, you can strike a pose in Chevy using a green screen. And then it will put your photos inside a Chevy truck comic strip, and you can share that right to social media. It's just one of the amazing interactive exhibits here at the auto show something you got to come down to try you must try it out and glenda is in chevy near a vehicle that's got a lot of horsepower glenda Mike, Carolyn, I can feel the heat. It's like heating up my back back here. This beautiful Corvette, it's an E-Ray. If you want to fly, this is it. You'll go 60 in two seconds, right? But joining me right now with the fuel behind the night, Terry Radigan of Corporate Giving for General Motors. And Terry, look at this crowd. Glenda, this is such a great night in our city, and it's just fabulous to see all these people back. And the cars are the stars, but it's really all about the children and the children's charities that we're raising money for tonight. Six fantastic charities are going to benefit from the evening, but millions of dollars have been funneled into the community through this event tonight, and that's really what it's about, is supporting our next generation. Exactly. I heard Mayor Duggan say $100 million have been raised from this event in the last 25 years alone. That's special. That's Detroit. And as we say, it is a Detroit thing. It is. Absolutely. No question about it. Yeah, we're really proud to be a part of it. And this, something to be proud of. I mean, what even? It looks like a spaceship. I'm proud of you for knowing the uh, zero to 60 time. It's also the first Corvette ever to have all wheel drive. And the coupe version can be yours for starting at 104,000. And the uh, convertible starts at 111. Beautiful car. It's amazing. A lot of eyes on that tonight yeah, and sure. a lot of hearts into what we do in Detroit because we support each other. Exactly right. It's, uh, I think Detroit actually and Metro Detroit is the most generous community in the world and tonight is another example of why I th think that. Thank you, Terry. We come together for each other. We do. We do. Thank you for being here, Glenda. All right. I want to see. I, I want to get in it. <laughs> get in it. Absolutely. Let's make that happen. You heard it right here yeah. from the guy in charge. Thank you so much. Carolyn, Mike, back to you. <laughs> Hey, Glenda, I want to get in that ride with you. $100,000, absolutely beautiful. I love a Corvette E-Ray. Looking good, Glenda. Huh? Looking real good. Well, that auto show has a little bit of everything, even luxury and exotic vehicles. So check out these beauties, everything from Ferrari and Porsche to McLaren. We will be right back from the Red Carpet Charity Preview. You don't want to miss the rest. Back in a moment. Huntington Place is getting more crowded by the minute. So many people having the time of their lives tonight, including our own Brian Abel. Let's head on over to Jeep Off-Road Adventure. Brian? And off-roading indeed at Camp Jeep. We are in like basically an obstacle course, Jason. What, what's going on here? You are welcome to the brand new crevasse. So <laughs> we are debuting this asset here this year in Detroit. So it's a... It's a 40 foot long uh, canyon cabin crevice crevasse with 90 <laughs> degree timbers that gives you that feeling of, uh, of being on all four wheels when only oh an inch of boy. tires touching the ground. And then now we are like <laughs> 45 degree angle on the side and it's all up, up top. This is an experience, my friend. It is, thank you. Yeah, this is the breakover angle. It's by far our number one watched uh, experience on the track. Now wait till we see this mountain here. Oh my goodness. Guys, I wish you all could be experiencing this right now with me because we are about to go straight up. This is more like a roller coaster. <laughs> it is. You're going up 40 degrees right now. You'll almost be touching the roof here of Huntington Place. So 23 feet up in the air. This is the tallest mountain ever introduced at an auto show. We're only constrained by the rafters here, otherwise we'd be another five feet up. So it, what, what is the purpose of all this really? It's, it's to show the capabilities of these vehicles, yeah? Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, heck it's, yeah. It's just all about having a great time, enjoying the product, 
getting to really uh, to engage with the consumers. We're taking people through something they most likely will never do with their vehicle, but it surely just shows how powerful, capable these vehicles are. Yeah, and you know, so when we talk about folks that are here for charity preview, here for a good cause, they are really getting the bang for their buck. Yes, they are. And it's great to see all these people. You know, we're, we're really proud of what we brought here this year. You know, we talked last year, the two new assets that we had, which was that crevasse and this last yeah. one we'll touch over here. It's great to see the expression on people's faces. All right. Pretty incredible time. I'll send it over to you. All right. Well, you know, lots of folks are going to come down here for the auto show to experience everything that it has to offer. But you can experience so much more in downtown Detroit. I'm joined now by Nicole, Nicole Miller, who is the general manager of the Cambria Hotel. It is a new addition to the downtown scene. And Nicole, tell us a little bit about the Cambria. I'm so excited to. Our, the Cambria Hotel is a beautiful upscale hotel and event center located right off of M10 in Lafayette. So right in the heart of everything. And some history there too. It is. It used to be WWJ radio station. So lots of history, lots of homage to the, the musical history of it as well as the 1930s art deco scene. Now you guys have some great restaurants there as well. Tell us a little bit about what the Cambria has to offer guests. So currently we have Detroit Taco Bodega, which is a quick service restaurant. It's amazing. Um, Five Iron Golf is located downstairs. So virtual golf simulators, great food, drinks. Coming in October, we have a modern Mediterranean restaurant called Chibo, which is peanut, tree nut, and sesame seed free as well. Um, there's going to be, it's led by executive chef James Sumter and Chris Mandrigans, who does all the beverages. So some amazing options there. And there is a speakeasy coming in January, but that's a secret. So don't a speakeasy, me. right. Because we're not supposed to talk about the speakeasy, nope. right? Nope, not yet. you got to find it on your own. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, yeah. Right. So the goal of the uh, Cambria, one of them, is that when you come down, you can experience everything that downtown has to offer, but you can also experience so much right there in the spot. You sure can. We have 21,000 square feet of function space, weddings, corporate meetings, events. You can do everything there. Spend a week, spend a night. We want you to come down. All right. Well, another place to enjoy here in downtown uh, Detroit. Nicole Miller, general manager of the Cambria Hotel. Thank you so much. Thank and you. because this is the red carpet, you look stunning as you well. Look well. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Carolyn and Mike, back to you. Oh, All love right. the sequence, love the shine for so, so many, many ladies tonight. So many people are looking their best tonight. Yeah. And of course, it takes a team to pull off the North American International Auto Show. And joining us now is the chair of the show, Thad Zott. Thank you so much for being with oh, us. Oh, our pleasure. How's uh, it we're doing? First, a big congratulations. It looks amazing. So much better even than last year. It's full. A lot of people here enjoying the night. Thank you. We've been working our tails off the last year. Very, very proud of uh, what we're showcasing tonight. So we're ready for the public to get out here tomorrow, and let's really get this thing going yeah let's talk about that in terms of the public what do you want people to know when they come down you know this show is like a little bit different than shows of the past what we learned last year was that these activations the experiences the opportunity for the showgoers to get into these vehicles and showcase the technology was a huge hit mm -hmm. so we worked really hard with the manufacturers to really amp that up and i think you guys have walked around and checked it out oh, nobody's absolutely. gonna say you don't have enough experience I mean, right? this year. a little bit of a cedar point vibe i mean <laughs> yes that's it a little, is it's like a family affair too you yeah. can bring the whole family something for everybody right have you seen the little electric jeep track for, yes. the, for the kids like yes. four and five years yeah. old Adorable. we have something for everybody yes so how important is the auto show for the city of detroit and the public Oh my gosh, oh. that is like an enormous question. I mean, I think it's an iconic event for the whole yes. country, yes. but for us here in Detroit, like this is our pride and joy, yes. right? And we got to make sure it, it continues to shine. We had conversations like that throughout the year, really worked hard to get 38 manufacturers here so we can showcase to everybody what we have. And these activations we worked really hard at. The EV track is a huge success, but we want to make sure it brings huge value to our area. We're very proud of this event and it's an iconic event. Let's keep it going. It is shining tonight, Thank I'm you. telling right. you. I Thank walked you. around, right? Isn't so it amazing? So much to do, so much to see. We really appreciate you taking the My time. My pleasure, out. appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more from the North American International Auto Show. Don't go anywhere. Huntington Place. 
Huntington Place is buzzing. All the performance vehicles, trucks, and EVs. Fantastic fashion on the red carpet. I have certainly loved every minute of the charity preview. Let's take one last spin around the floor, shall we? Yeah, Glenda, how's it going out there? At last, my love has come along. <laughs> it has been such a treat being in the driver's seat for a night that's so important for our community. Jennifer Hudson still has yet to hit the stage. Shaggy still has yet to hit the stage. The charity preview and the North American International Auto Show in full swing, beginning with a night that supports our kids. Brian. <laughs> I hear you over there, G. Take a look at this. Look, ah, so many incredible experiences that are happening at the auto show tonight. We cannot wait to experience it for ourselves because we'd be wrapping up right now. Uh, incredible night. I don't see anybody that's not having a good time. Alicia Keenan, what about you guys? Oh, oh you want to talk about having a good time? Oh, there is no doubt. Are we having a good time around here? Oh, yeah. We're having a good time here on the red carpet. And it has been dazzling. We want to thank Mariana Caros again for your wonderful expertise, finding the trends. And we've just have been having a ball. Carolyn and Mike, you look lovely as well. Absolutely. And It has certainly been a lot of fun oh. being here with you, Mike. Thank you for riding along and, shotgun with And likewise, me. Carolyn, on my first time ever, I mean, Detroit has just shown up and shown out tonight. Yes, they have. We want to thank Ford Motor Company for being our hosts this evening and on the entire Channel 7 team. And we just want to say thanks to everybody who is here tonight. Of course, it takes a crew to make it happen. Have a great night, everyone. and makeup services provided by Vision Spa Salon. Gowns provided by Zane Boutique in Troy.